Hello everyone, it is M10 here and I'm back making another video, this time an overview of the new Dungeon Defenders Ethereal event in Terraria 1.3.4. This event, it's pretty simple but it's also pretty cool. How it works is there are seven waves to this event, each wave getting increasingly difficult uh, and you've got to get 100% on each wave by defeating all the enemies possible. Now, on either side of the Ethereal Crystal, there will be a portal that will spawn, and your goal is to defend the Ethereal Crystal from the creatures that will spawn from the portal. So, if you don't defend the Crystal, uh, the Crystal has 3,000 hit points, if it loses all those hit points, the event will end and you have lost the event. If you die, however, the event will not end, but you probably won't be able to continue the event because all the enemies will rush to the crystal and remove all the hit points from it. So, the enemies in this event drop a item called Ethereal Mana, and how this works is every time you get 10 Ethereal Mana, uh, you can summon a sentry. Now, a sentry works sort of like the Rainbow Crystal Staff or the Lunar Portal Staff. However, you can purchase these sentries for varying amounts of defenders tokens, which you can also get from the Ethereal event. You can uh, purchase these sentry summons from the Tavern Keeper, and you can summon a bunch of sentries during the event. The player will get 10 ethereal mana the second the event begins, meaning it can summon one sentry. However, the player will also get 10 to 20 ethereal mana every single wave, so more sentries can be summoned throughout the event. The event has heaps of drops, which I will cover in different videos. Uh, however, there are three main bosses slash mini bosses as such being the Dark Mage, which appears in Wave 4, the Ogre, which appears in Wave 5, and of course the final boss the Dragon Betsy, which has 50,000 hit points and is pretty much, or uh, probably not as difficult as Duke Fishron. So that's sort of the level that we are after here. So that's pretty much a summary of the event. After defeating the event, all the sentries and the mana will disappear and you will have several new items in your inventory that you will have received from completing the event. There are several awesome new weapons and other things like that, so I will cover those in separate videos. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video and it has helped you out, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Like I said, thank you very much for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next video. See ya!